Oh, God. Another one of these, eh? All right. Let's go. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another movie review with your boy, Gore the Movie God. That's me. Ain't I cute? And I just got back from my local theater seeing a little movie called Tomb Raider, which if you do not know, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Tomb Raider franchise. Of course, it's a video game series that has been turned into another freaking video game adaptation i say another one because it already was made into a video I mean, into a movie with the 2001 film uh named Lara Croft's tomb raider starring angelina jolie with her big heart she's a she's a good woman so what do you think i meant but anyway i enjoy i enjoyed that film as a b movie it's a b movie that is all that's the best it will ever be I don't want people going back and saying, you know what, that original Tomb Raider movie wasn't that bad. Because I, I feel like every time we get a movie that's a like either a remake or a reboot, people always go back and have those stupid-ass think pieces. I've actually already seen one, and I just want to rant real quick. Uh, I always see those dumb-ass think pieces where like, you know what, this new movie's not good, but you know what, that original was actually pretty good. Even though no one liked it back then, so I don't know why all of a sudden, it's just for clicks. I know it is, and, and I hate it. But uh, that original movie is fun, I will admit, it is fun. But it's it's bad. It is a bad film. But it fit what it's I guess what it's series at the time because at the time the the Tomb Raider games were pretty dumb. You know, you're Lara Croft, you're fighting dinosaurs and you're jumping off rocks and stuff, and you, and you her proportions were very much not correct. Well, I, I don't know, not correct. But it just didn't seem right for the kind of person she was. Is what I'm saying. Um, she was definitely big in certain places. But I enjoyed those games. I really do. I really enjoyed those games. They were a lot of fun. Playing them now, I'm sure they'll be really outdated. But the newer games are freaking excellent. And I could see them being timeless when it comes to controls and gameplay. Because the 2013 one is excellent. So good. The uh, way that they do the survival elements is so well done. And the way they do character progression. Even though there's at times where it is very, very quickly paced when it comes to how she is a normal person and then she becomes a survival i mean a survival a survivor really quickly uh, i still think that whole progression of her character is really well done in that game and even in the sequel rise of the tomb raider which i actually love that game one of the best games of 2015 got completely overshadowed by fallout 4 because it came out the same day but i think it is actually a better game so please write your heat comments now because i said it was a better game to fallout 4 but um i love those two games so when i heard they're gonna make a movie it's gonna star alicia vikander who i think is a perfect fit for this new lara croft um and it was gonna be based around these newer games and it's gonna be directed by the guy that did the wave which is actually a from i've heard a really good norwegian disaster film i was like you know what might be in good hands i mean i, I would have picked a different director because that just seems like a weird choice. But you know what? Taka Watiti was a weird choice for Thor Ragnarok. And look how well that did. So you know what? I'm good with it. Hey, the guy that did Cop Car. Do you even remember that movie? Well, the guy that did Cop Car and that movie Clown about a killer clown did the new Spider-Man movie. So you know what? I'm good. Let's go, let's go, baby. I'm in. The reviews weren't even that bad for this movie. So it had to be at least tolerable, right? Yeah. You, you, you think I was going to say no? I was going to say no, but it was terrible. No. It was good for what it was, which it was a video game movie. It was a solid little film. Now, I'm not going to tell you right here that it is a good movie. It was a good time. is when I, when I say good, I mean it's a good time. It's not a good movie. When it comes to quality, it is probably one of the best video game movies out there, even though I would still consider Silent Hill the original one. The best video game movie, in my opinion, because I love the Silent Hill franchise. And also, that one technically does the video game extreme justice. Like, it really follows the game very well, and it actually sets up that world pretty nicely. Uh, and for the time, the special effects were excellent. And the makeup, all that stuff, it was so good. Just the movie's a little too long is the problem. They could easily shave like 20, 30 minutes off that movie, and it would be so much better. But... Besides that, I think there's no other movie I can think of that is actually better than this one. This one actually does a good job of taking this character, Lara Croft, played by Alicia Vikander, and actually making us relate to her a little bit, even though at first she's kind of childish, but it makes sense. She didn't have a father for a little while in her life, and she's kind of been a loner and trying to not use the wealth of her family name to get success or whatever. She was just working on her own to try to 
you know, piece her own life together, I guess, without the, you know, the need of her father's money or whatever. So you can kind of see where they're going with her character. And then when she goes to the island, they do a really good job of actually implementing some of the scenes you see in the 2013 game and even some of the stuff you see in previous Tomb Raider games uh, to show that she is becoming a survivor. She is, uh, you know, she is a survivor, I guess. That's all I have to say. But um, that's what I thought the 2013 game did very well. Uh, is the survival element and this one does it pretty well too even though there's times where oh man you should not have gotten up from that like there's a part where she takes she first of all she falls off a cliff hits a tree right in the face like in the face tree bam then she falls into the water waterfall she lands on a plane that's been there for a little while that i guess just like fell um it was like a freight plane too so she gets on that it's about to fall down and she's like oh shit and she runs and jumps to the the to the other part of the plane because the the wing is falling off so she gets on there and she's like oh i'm safe and then the freaking plane starts tipping over into the waterfall and she's like you gotta be kidding me and she she hangs on for dear life and then she sees a parachute she's like okay good and she takes the parachute and she uses it to get off that plane she's like oh good i'm safe and then she hits a bunch of fucking trees along the way and gets just demolished and then she falls from like i don't know at least like 40 50 feet from the sky and just lands right on the freaking ground and she's like oh god it, to be fair she sold her being damaged completely because she's like oh god oh fuck. it's not like she just got up and just dusted herself off she's like all right let's go she was like oh god and she had like a piece of a, a piece of a branch just like stuck inside of her just like in the 2013 game uh which i know some people are gonna think that was weird what i just said but it penetrated her you know what i mean anyway point is that she gets messed up in this movie just like in the game and they do that very well even though there's times where it's just like oh she's just recovered now she's back and she's running and stuff and it's weird sure but they do it well enough for the times where we're supposed to see her getting roughed up it's only like a good 10 minute segment of this movie but considering the game is like almost 15 20 hours long you have to really condense that so they did a good job with that um like i said they implemented scenes like that whole airplane thing is actually from the original um reboot game 2013 game and that's really good there's no part where she's like falling down a, a waterfall and then gets skewered in the head with a with a stick though there's no part like that if you play the original 2013 Tomb Raider game, I think you know what I'm talking about. That's one of the most grotesque death scenes I've ever seen. And it's not even that violent because it, I mean, it goes through her head, but you don't really see any blood or anything, but it's like, it's gruesome. Like she gets skewered in the neck and right through her head. And she's like, Oh fuck. <laughs> it's really, it's disturbing. So there's nothing like that in this, uh, it's a PG 13 movie. So you definitely wouldn't see that. Also, she's the main character. That would be very weird if out of nowhere, she just gets murdered immediately. But, um, so there's a, a lot of actually really good moments like that where they actually take from the original games and from the newer games and implement it in a way where it doesn't seem really overly cheesy and overly ridiculous like those other movies were. Um, it's still, it's grounded, but not too grounded where it's just boring. There's still moments of just ridiculous stuff where she's like jumping across big like chasms and stuff and like, uh, grabbing onto ledges with her, like with her fingertips and stuff and somehow holding her own body weight. Uh, I mean, I know she's not a very heavy woman, but Jesus, like, like she does some Nathan Drake stuff in here. That's ridiculous. But for the most part, it is grounded, especially considering how the last movies weren't, uh, and, one thing that was a big surprise here is that when it comes to the su supernatural element, they actually make it make sense. Because a lot of the Tomb Raider games have supernatural uh, supernatural elements, just like you know Indiana Jones does. So and even Uncharted. So they make it make sense here, and I actually appreciated that. So I really like that. Really like Alicia Vikander, by the way. Alicia Vikander is great as Lara Croft. She actually adds some dramatic heft to her character at first so you actually start to like her later on when she's like of course getting her ass beat and stuff she's actually really selling it and you can feel it uh and then later on there's even some dramatic moments where it's like I'm, i wasn't tearing up or anything but i was just like oh she's actually doing a really good job and so are some of the other actors it actually feels it feels more like a movie than some of those other ones you know where assassin's creed just felt like oh remember this oh we were the hidden blade oh here's the part where he jumps off and 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 uh, lands in the pile of hay you know it just felt like a bunch of pandering references where here it, it's not really that they put that stuff in there but it's like really sneakily like they just like oh here it is shh, shh, shh. we're not gonna put pin uh, we're not gonna point it out too much it's just there you know here's her bow and arrow here's her tank top you see in the 2013 movie that's just the way she dresses you know whatever 
Um, oh, she has to solve some puzzles at times, but we're not going to make it seem like it's a video game too much, you know? There's actually times where she has to solve puzzles. Like, it, the movie stops to, for her to solve, like, a couple of puzzles at times. And I actually like those moments, because they actually added it to the action scenes. Like, there's one scene where the floor is falling um, uh, out from under their feet, and they have to, like, figure out a puzzle, and, and they only have, like, a certain amount of time before all the floor is gone. So it actually does a good job of like adding some tension, even though I wasn't tense, but it, it, it tries and it does a good job for the most part. So Alicia Vikander is really good in the role. She is very solid. She, uh, she fits the part. She's physically fit. That's for sure. And, um, she's a great Laura Croft. I think she's better than Angelina Jolie, who I, I felt like she knew it was a video game movie. So she was like, I'm just going to play it like cheesy and goofy. And I'm going to be very seductive and stuff. And she does a good job in those movies, but <laughs> It's not, it's not a good performance when it comes to acting wise. It was just, she was having a good time. You could tell. So, you know, I like the, I like that movie. I enjoy it. It's a silly film and I like her in the role of that Laura Croft, but this is a completely different Laura Croft. And if she acted, if Felicia Vikander acted like uh, Angelina Jolie did in that original movie, it'd just be a, a completely weird uh, and just really throw me off. Um, so you got some decent action scenes here for the most part, even though the CG is very, very questionable at times, but for the most part, the action is good. There's actually a couple of moments where you could tell they were trying to do like big long takes where it's like one shot action scenes. It doesn't really pan out too well. Um, for the most part, cause you could tell there's edits here and there. Um, also there's, uh, some wonky camera work, not too much, but there's times where you can't tell exactly what's going on. There's a scene in the beginning of the film when the, their ship, crashes it's in the trailer so no big surprise and that's also in the 2013 video game but their ship crashes and she's in the water Laura Croft's in the water and she's trying to get to land and it's very it's at night and it's during you know a, a, a thunderstorm so there's water just splashing everywhere and you can't tell really what's going on so there's scenes like that where I mean I know it's supposed to be chaotic and you're not exactly sure what's going on but it reminded me of that Black Panther fight, right? Like the first Black Panther fight where it's dark and you can't tell what's going on. And that's the point of it because he's supposed to be like, like stalking in the shadows and stuff, but it doesn't really make for an entertaining fight scene or action scene. You know what I mean? So, so I get that, but it's just not entertaining to watch. Um, there's a lot of scenes like that in this movie, actually. Well, maybe not a lot, but a couple, you know, way more than there should be. So Alicia Vikander's great. Uh, I, I do have more negatives though, sadly. I wish I didn't. I wish I could say this movie's great, but it definitely is not. It's still fun. I had a good time, even though the pacing is a little off here and there. But I still had a good time. Um, like I said, the CG is very questionable. There's times where it's so fake. There's times where, where Lara Croft would jump, and you could tell it's a CG character. It looked like like early, like like maybe like Spider-Man 2, you know, every time where he would jump and it's Tobey Maguire in the suit and then he would like pretend to jump and then he'll turn into a, he'll turn into a CG character. It was that there's times where you could tell that's exactly what was going on. It was very strange. There, there's times where you could tell it definitely is her. There's one scene where it's like, she's running and you can tell a lot of the stuff around her is CG, but you could tell it's her definitely running. But there's other times where it's just like, oh my God, there's, there's so much really poorly done CG here and there. It's just, it, it, it's a shame because they could have definitely made it look like a, you know, a good solid action adventure film, but they kind of, I guess they ran out of budget or something like that, or just, I don't know, who knows? The budget was pretty big. It was like a $90 million budget or something like that. So they had the money. I, I just don't, I don't know. There was a lot of special effects to be fair. So maybe that 90 million isn't enough for that kind of like quantity of uh, special effects, but whatever. Um, quantity over quality is what this movie was doing. So when it should have just been about quality, you know, take a couple of those action scenes out and use that money. You could have filmed, you could have used to film those scenes and make those special effects in those other scenes better, you know, and also make the movie a little bit shorter because the movie is about two hours long. And I feel like when it comes to the pacing, it slows down at times. And some of the action scenes while decent aren't, up to snuff so it becomes a kind of a chore to watch at times you know just things like that um the side characters are completely wasted there's times where you are introduced to some of the side characters like daniel Wu's character who is the uh, ship captain of the endurance which is the ship in the 2013 game uh but it's also the ship in this one and at first he he's introduced and i actually like this character he's he's funny he's witty he's actually a good like he, he's a good companion to laura croft's character uh, and I actually like him as a companion 
from the little bit we get in the beginning than the companions we get in the Tomb Raider 2013 game because most of them, besides maybe Jonah, uh, are kind of annoying. So, so I actually liked him as a companion. Problem is that he's barely in it because after that he just becomes the guy that tries to help all the people that Trinity, the, the bad guys, are enslaving. So he's like the guy that becomes the resistance leader, I guess you could say. Uh, and after that, most of the time when you see Daniel Wu, he's just like in the background like holding a gun. And he, and he looks and he sees like something fall down. And he goes, "Oh no, Lars in danger!" And he runs to, to the to the rocks that fell or whatever. It's a, it's it's a uh, it's a wasted character. There's other ones too. Walton Goggins plays the main villain here. Um, Vol Volcar, Vol he he plays the guy that was the main villain in the 2013 game. He's completely different in this one though. I think his, he has the same name, but it's a completely different character, pretty much. Um, and. He, he works for Trinity, the evil organization and stuff, whatever. But anyway, he's generic bad guy. I mean, there's times where he's actually kind of creepy and they do a decent job. And I love Walton Goggins. I really do. But there's times in this movie where he's just kind of generic and you can tell he's not really... I mean, he's not bad. He just doesn't... You could tell he doesn't really want to play this character the way he's playing it. You could tell he wants to play it way wackier. Uh, but I feel like the director probably told him, eh, don't play him like that. You do that all the time in all the other movies and stuff. Play him more straight-laced and weird. You know, like like weird like as a, as a, a quiet weird, not a wacky weird. And that's not why you get Walton Goggins. You get Walton Goggins for, like, wacky weird, you know? Or, you know, like, charismatic, you know, like in The Hateful Eight. Uh, so, or even Django Unchained. <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel like he was wasted. But I, I like seeing him in a big role like that. Because I think Walton Goggins is a great and very underrated actor. I've, I've always liked him. Ever since I saw him in, uh, oh, what was that movie? Oh, my God. Yeah, whatever. Screw it. But he, he's great. That's the point. Um... Uh, so what else like side characters the the acting for the most part is good uh, i thought dominic west as the father of laura croft he was good too uh he's not in it too much uh but he, he he's good uh and i thought the whole father daughter storyline was actually well done especially when it comes to the dramatic elements uh the action was fun uh it's not too long it's still two hours long but it's not like two and a half hours long so i, I give it that it knew when to wrap it up uh, it's over by about an hour and 55 minutes, so it's it's not too long. And it does a decent job of doing the origin story. Uh, we get to know Lara Croft. We get to know who she is. We get to see her become the Tomb Raider, kind of. Um, and you can tell she's liking it and stuff. So you could see, you could, most likely, if this movie does well, we'll be seeing a sequel with Alicia Vikander. Um, but overall, it's not a great film. It does take a lot of things from the previous game. So if you're a big uh, Tomb Raider fan, you'll be having a good time going, oh, they this and this and this. It's mainly from the last two games that came out. But there's little things here and there, especially towards the end, where they're, they're hinting like, oh, look at this. Oh, the two guns. Remember the two guns? Oh, now she has the long braid. You know, for no reason. She just has the long braid. Um, that's also another thing I should say. Nick Frost shows up in this movie. And he, I thought he was actually pretty funny. Um, but... In the trailer, I, I I swear, someone please figure, like, tra like watch my trailer reaction, because I don't like watching my own trailer reactions, because I don't like myself, because I'm a self-hating white boy, but, um, <laughs> but I want, I want to see if I predicted that, that scene where she asked, like, oh, I'll buy two of these guns in that first trailer, I want to see if I predicted that that would be the ending of the film because i feel like i did and that's exactly the ending of the film i swear to you she says i'll take two of these and she pull, pulls up the two guns from the original Lara croft games and she she might as well look at the camera and wink and go yeah that's right these are from the original game you, you would only know that if you had a fucking dick and then the movie ends <laughs> if you had a dick. what hold on i just want to see a movie why are you insulting me but um I want to see if I predicted that. I might actually just watch the reaction myself. But, um, yeah, Nick Frost is funny in it. He, he only shows up in, like, two scenes. But he's a funny little side character. Um, so, and he's also wasted, too, because he's only in it for two scenes. So, um, But, anyway, overall, it's well filmed. It's well shot for the most part. The pacing is a little off. It gets slow at times. There's times where... Laura has to figure out a puzzle, and I do like that for the most part, but there are times where it's just like us watching her solve a puzzle. Some of the action scenes aren't great. The action, uh, I mean, not the action, the special effects aren't 
up to snuff compared to other films with the same like budget like if, if you look at a movie like kingsman the secret service which had a budget of around the same that movie looks much better when it comes to special effects and even action and set design and stuff like that um but i do enjoy a lot of this movie i like the whole supernatural element not actually being like they make it make sense it's not totally supernatural like a tomb raider game would be but it actually makes it make sense and actually grounds it very well um and i do enjoy that last 30 minutes when they're in the tomb the tomb itself is pretty generic looking but really i mean what, what can you do to make a tomb look different than any other tomb what are you gonna make it look like pretty with gold like hey, it's a tomb like what the fuck <laughs> like what are you gonna do? like did, no one cared about making a tomb look nice no one's supposed to go in there it's a tomb you know they put traps in there for a reason. Don't go in there. But uh, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the movie as a video game movie because I went in there with pretty low expectations. Even when I was like, all right, this might be good. I was still going in with low expectations. And I left liking it. You know, Alicia Vikander is a great Laura Croft and she does a good job. And the director does a decent job of directing all the action scenes. And uh, the writing itself is tolerable, you know, bearable. It's fine. So overall, I give this film, I'm going to give it a 20, I'm going to give it a 25 out of a 40. I enjoyed it. I thought it was solid. It's not great, but it is one of the better action films we got this year. Not saying much considering what we got this year so far, but uh, there you go. Thank you. And until next time, I love you. Goodbye. I do love you, by the way. And I do. I love her too. She's beautiful. Oh my God. But anyway, goodbye.